Well, that's fascinating, isn't it? it? Is. Absolutely fascinating. Alexis is here with the weather forecast, as you can see. And beautiful weekend. If you look closely, you can see where I had my sunglasses. I can see you've got weekend. a nice tan from your garden for yeah. the weekend. Yeah, it, it, it's not a good look. Looking a little bronze, lovely. <laughs> Maybe not so much sun this week, though. Caroline Palmer. Today we had blue skies in many places, barely a cloud in the sky. But there is a little bit of a change in the weather as we head through this week. The chance of rain for some. This lovely picture was taken at Bognor Regis in West Sussex by one of our weather watchers. So through this week, we'll have some rain or showers at times and the temperatures will be slightly below their seasonal average. We're looking at clear skies tonight, so it will turn quite chilly. Out in the countryside, we could have a little bit of a frost first thing tomorrow morning, with temperatures hovering around the freezing mark. And by dawn, slightly more cloud will arrive for northernmost areas, and that cloud will start to sink its way southwards as we head through the day tomorrow. So we start with bright skies first thing, then the cloud will increase. So sunny spells through the afternoon, and maybe the odd isolated shower, particularly for northern and western areas areas. The showers could be slow moving with hail and thunder. Temperatures tomorrow will peak at around 16 degrees with the fairly light winds, feeling slightly fresher along coastal stretches. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, that's from Selsey Bill to Lyme Regis. The winds are variable, mainly west two to four, and the sea state is slight or moderate. So as we head through the day tomorrow, we're expecting those showers to continue tomorrow night, and they could be on the heavy side once again with hail and thunder. And then a more organised band of rain will start to move in during, during the early hours of Wednesday morning. So those showers could become quite heavy and it will be frost free tomorrow night with lows of four to five degrees. Wednesday itself, you can see this weather front slipping south and eastward slowly through the day. There will be a lot of cloud during the day, maybe some brighter spells, but some heavy showers which may merge into longer spells of rain with a chance of hail and thunder. Now we're looking at around 20 millimetres, which is 0.7 inches of rain falling in a 24 hour period period. It's not a huge amount of rain, unfortunately, for gardeners and growers, but it is a little bit of rain in the forecast for the next few days. So for the rest of the week, we will see some showers dotted about, but also some sunny spells. So Thursday through to Sunday and even into bank holiday Monday, sunny spells and scattered showers. Wednesday's the day when we'll probably see the most rain this week. Ed? Alexis, thank you. Not looking too bad. We've been lucky, though, with the we weekend have, weather, yes. haven't we? It's been absolutely beautiful. That's it from us this evening. Thank you for your company. We're back at half past ten this evening with the late news after the ten o'clock news here on BBC One. And we shall be back, shall we not? Same time tomorrow. Join us then. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Good night.